Welcome to the Deer Islands. Hey there fellow travelers, welcome back to the adventures of a traveling Don. My name is Benjamin O. I apologize I was off for the week. I had a little bit of a stomach bug on the day that I was supposed to film last week, but I am back this week continuing our trip down Maine coastline throughout down east and uh, we are exploring day trips away from Acadia National Park. Today I am off to Deer Isle, which is actually set of three different main islands. Two of them we'll hit today, which is Little Deer and of course uh, the main Deer Island as well. But on the way there, we're stopping here in Blue Hill. It's about halfway between Ellsworth and the Deer Isle down 172 at Blue Hill Co-op. So let's go ahead and go inside. I'm gonna go get myself a smoothie. So the Blue Hill Co-op is a great kind of like starter point and central spot uh, for this south area of Hancock County. Like if you're going down, whether it's Deer Isle or down to Orland, Surrey, um, there's so many different places to go in this area. And even the little town of Blue Hill is really nice. But this is a great place to grab some food if you just want to get like some you can get some grab to go sandwiches you can get a bunch of fruits uh, vegetables a lot of that stuff is all grown locally particularly the wild blueberries they have bushels of that stuff in there uh, but it's a great it's a community owned co-op um, that's been going since like 1974 this is actually a brand new spot i think this particular building is only three years old but it's really cool it's got this nice cafe um, you can get sandwiches they have breakfast of course up until about 10 o'clock uh, and then they usually have this nice patio that has um, uh, I think they do music festivals throughout the summertime uh, so you'll usually have like live bands out here at certain times of the day but it's a really really nice spot but I got myself a uh, ginger beet and turmeric smoothie we're gonna give this a try You can taste the ginger. Holy crap. Mm. It's not sweet, <laughs> but it's very healthy. And you could definitely taste the turmeric in there too. So, but yeah, anyway, Blue Hill Co-op is a great first spot. So the first thing that you do when you get onto the island, you come over that bridge, it's gonna be right on the right hand side, is this place called LDL Lobster. I've only had a smoothie so far today at Blue Hell Co-op, so I need something in my stomach, and I'm telling you, this is a freaking lobster roll. But boy, I mean, it's got probably at least four to five ounces of lobster in here. There's no lettuce or anything like that. It's just mayonnaise, and then they drizzle warm butter on top. Oh my God, we're gonna give this a try. Mm. Mm. I think they add a little bit of salt to it as well. Too many places don't add anything whatsoever except the mayonnaise. Now, I know it's tradition, but honestly, a lot of time they end up a little plain. This, you can taste a little bit of that butter on the back end. It's oh, so good. LDL lobster for a lobster roll. So I'd like to correct myself real quick. It's actually called LDI Lobster. I don't know why I saw LDL for some reason. But anyway, LDI Lobster is where you wanna go. It's actually a really nice spot because it's got that little park there. It's right off the water. You see the bridge and everything in the background. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I just had to fix that LDI Lobster. Okay, obviously when you go anywhere, you always wanna look for information centers. Now here on Deer Isle, on Little Deer Isle, the first one, uh, just right down the road from LDI Lobster is of course the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the Island Directory. So this is where you can come. Uh, there's a good man named Ron in there, uh, usually there uh, for most days. It's kind of like a committee thing that they all take care of, but this is where you get all your information, all the pamphlets, all the maps, all that kind of good stuff for Deer Isle. It is a big island, so you're gonna want to get some information. So stop on here at the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. 
So one thing about the Deer Isles is the fact that it has, I think about 20 plus nature preserves, like small nature preserves throughout the island. So I do highly recommend taking some time, taking little walks, they're not like super hard hikes or anything, but little nature trails to get out. I mean, honestly, if I was coming to Deer Island, I would maybe spend one or two nights here to try, if you want the whole experience, to try and get throughout the entire island, particularly if you wanna enjoy each one of the nature preserves. Like I said, some of them are maybe half a mile to a mile trail, but there's like 20 of them on these islands. Shows you actually how big these islands are and also how much they care about the natural order of the island. By the way, I wanted to give a couple of shout outs. It's my first shout outs I've ever really done on this channel, but that's because I just started an account at buymeacoffee.com. I'll leave a link in the description. If you wanted to, if you want to support me in any kind of way, you can either do it as a one time or uh, as a membership. It's only like $5 a month, but it does help me with continuing and, you know, upgrading, going new places and helping with all of these videos as I continue to do this adventure for you. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to shout out to the very first person who supported me on that was Tarek Fawfall. Dude, my man from high school. We go back many, many years. But brother, thank you so much for that first donation. And of course, to my ever lovely, beautiful mother, Terry Brady, who became my first membership. Thank you, mom. Love you. All right. But anyway, guys, let's continue on. So while you're on the Deer Islands, come over to the very east side, follow Sunshine Road, and head towards Haystack uh, Crafts Art School. So this is a uh, international uh, art school university that I think they has about 80 students uh, at any particular one point in time. And it's all about like crafts arts, you know, glass work, woodwork, all that kind of stuff. And they do have tours, I think June through August, uh, or at least June through August 1st on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. It's about five bucks. Of course, I'm here on a Sunday, but it is, the campus is slightly open. There is a trail that you walk down the steps. You can kind of see what the campus looks like. And then you have this, it opens up to this beautiful deck where you get this beautiful look of like the East Bay side. So, but Haystack, really good. And try and come on a Wednesday to get that art tour. Uh, now let's go and see if I can't get back to my car before the rain hits. Okay, so the next spot that we are visiting here on Deer Isle is the Settlement Quarry Preserve. And this used to be the main quarry on the island. I think actually the bigger, there are bigger ones that are on smaller islands uh, off just to the south, but this was the main quarry on the island. It's a nice nature preserve, just very nice little light um, trails, a little bit of elevation, but not much more than about a hundred feet. But it is just kind of a nice nature walk, but it's kind of cool. There's a history when it comes to quarrying, stone quarrying here on this island. Uh, it started back in the early 20th century, went through the 1920s, uh, dropped off and restarted in the 60s and finally ended in the 80s. But the stones that come from uh, uh, from Deer Island here and from Stonington do are, you can find them all over the place. I think it's Williamsburg Bridge and Manhattan Bridge in New York. Both have stones from here, as well as I think Boston's uh, Fine Arts Museum. And I believe the last stone that was ever taken away from here to be used for any particular project was John F. Kennedy's memorial in Arlington National Cemetery. So the stone for that came from here in Maine. Kinda cool. All 
All right, so the town behind me here is Stonington, and this is the main town uh, here on the Deer Isles. This is on the very southern tip of the main Deer Island, um, and it's the only place that you can get a ferry that you can go out to the Isle of Hot, which is those big islands in the background that you can see there. Um, but it is actually, from what I was told, Stonington Harbor is where a majority of the lobster that comes out of Maine is fished out or is brought in here. It's yeah, all fished out, out there, but it's all brought in here to like the Stonington um, uh, fisheries and the I guess the lobster warehouses and whatnot. But it is a cute town. Like this is probably one of the prettiest towns of coastal Maine, and there's so many of them. Like Kenny Bunkport, uh, Booth Bay, they're all fantastic. This is really nice. It's very quaint, you know. It's it's a little bit quieter than places like Booth Bay or Bar Harbor, or, um, where it's you know, you don't you, you just listen. You look around. Not a lot of people here, even in the height of summer. It's a great place to get away. By the way, when you're in downtown Stonington, keep your eyes open for the little mini village here. It's like right behind me, there's all these little miniature uh, houses, I guess maybe to go off of places here in Stonington. But it's got a grocery store, it's got a church, uh, it's got like a little gas station where you get beer and like mini miniature people can get beer and stuff. It's, it's actually kind of cool and it's very well done. Nice craftsmanship. So before leaving Stonington, if you're looking for something to eat, whether it's just a happy hour um, or if you're here for dinner, this place down near the wharf is called Finn and Fern. This is absolutely fantastic. You definitely need a reservation because they get filled up during the summer months pretty quickly between both tourists and locals. But it is a phenomenal scratch made. They make all their own kind of like their own pastries and desserts. All the food is all done in-house. The, the do, food does take some time to get to you, but when it does, it is fantastic. Now, I was able to scrounge a little tight spot at the bar, um, so I wasn't able to do the full f uh, film in there, but I was able to get uh, you know some calamari, and the calamari was absolutely amazing it wasn't breaded too much not too crispy just right and then of course i had a beet salad which was just um greens with a little uh, warmed up greens with like some beets uh i think it was a little honey like vinaigrette in there there was uh, walnuts uh goat cheese just to kind of give you a little saltiness to it it was all fantastic finn and fern when you're in stonington absolutely fantastic place All right, so as you're leaving Stonington, head west just out the town, it's about five minutes away, is this place called Sand Beach. A lot smaller than the Sand Beach down uh, south of Bar Harbor, but this is a beautiful little cove and a beautiful spot. I mean, this would be great. I mean, we're still about an hour-ish uh, and a half away from actual sunset, but this would be a great spot for a true sunset. But I mean, just this view is absolutely phenomenal. It's a great place to come in, go out into the ocean if you want. Um, you know, it's not as rocky as a lot of the rest of uh, Maine coastline is, but it's just this sheltered little cove. It's just nice and peaceful. And it's all locals out here. Maybe a couple of uh, people that are staying uh, as tourists, but mainly all locals. Beautiful spot. But yeah, this is Sand Beach of Deer Isle. By the way, when you're at the sand beach, as you're facing the cove, take a left, there's a little trail and that divides off into like a couple different alcoves. And you just come out onto these little rocky shores. And so even more secluded than the sand beach, but they're really nice spots.
Alrighty guys, so for the last spot here, uh, head back up to uh, Little Deer Isle where uh, the Chamber of Commerce is and head down the road. It's kind of like to the left or right depending on which way you're coming, but it's the road that's off to the side um, as you're coming off the main road toward, off, the, off and on the island. And you just head towards basically Pumpkin Island Lighthouse. Google map that, just head towards that area and you just come up the road and it's just kind of like local spot near the end of the road. It's just a little parking lot behind me and you just get this fantastic sunset view. I mean, with that lighthouse in the foreground and it's just, I actually got it right now where it's, there's a little bit of light in between the cloud um, that's kind of like right where the lighthouse mirrors are or the lighthouse windows are. And it almost looks like it's got a little halo. It's, uh, it's I don't know how good it's gonna come out on film, but like just to me right now, it looks really cool. Yeah, this is where you want to come for a sunset. Sand Beach is a good one as well, but this has that lighthouse in the front. It's just very picturesque. Got some great pictures for that. So, but yeah, Pumpkin Island Lighthouse for sunset. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey through Deer Isle. If you ever come up to Maine, this part of Down East and Hancock County is absolutely fantastic. And again, it's a day's, you know, it's a day trip from Acadia National Park if you're staying anywhere on Mount Desert Island or if you're staying in Ellsworth. But honestly, I would recommend for Deer Isle, maybe spend one or two nights here because there's so much, this island's so big, there's there's a lot of things I didn't get to. Um, but it is absolutely fantastic and well worth a day trip. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Give me a like. Uh, let me know in the comments what you loved about the video. And if you've ever been to Deer Isle, what are your experiences? I really, really want to know, particularly if you've ever been to the Isle of Hot. I was not able to do that this time. And of course, also make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are notified of any of my future videos. But anyway, guys, it was an absolute pleasure to make this video for you guys. I will see you guys on the next adventure. Peace out, and I'll see you down the road.